Obviously in this world, most people in Western society need money in order to survive. How do you support yourself financially? Well, how we support ourselves financially is that we receive donations from people who are motivated only by their heart desire to give us a donation. So we don't solicit funds, nor do we demand funds, nor do we try to elicit funds, nor do we try to manipulate people into giving us funds. We just, we just do what we do, which is present the truth, the things that we believe are true to the world. And people who appreciate that uh, feel motivated sometimes through their own desire to give us funds. And I say sometimes because not everybody does feel motivated. You know, there's probably two thirds around about of people generally don't feel motivated to give us anything. But, but of the one third who do, that's how we survive financially. So from those donations, we pay all of our bills. Uh, you and I pay all of our food. We own our own home and our own property. So, you know, we don't have too many expenses going out on our property, but uh, we still have food and cars and travel and all these kind of things to pay for. And all of the very generous people who feel motivated from the heart to donate funds to us, donate those funds and that's how we support ourselves financially. Now, how that all happens and the amounts that all happens in it are all recorded on the internet for anybody who wishes to have a look. If you have a look at the donations page on the website, you will find there a list of our latest tax return that we've had and a list of how we spent all of our money for the last year. So that way, every single person in the world has the ability to see how we spend our funds. Mm -hmm. So we're completely open and transparent about everything about our personal finances. Now, um, we can't do much more than that in terms of showing people the sincerity that we have about money and also about living in harmony with the, with the principles we actually teach about transparency, truth and honesty. And we feel it's a very loving thing to actually sh show people how their funds are utilised and so that way they know what we're doing with the funds that we give them. But sometimes we buy clothes, of course, mm -hmm. we buy our shoes, we buy our clothes, we have our haircuts, we do all of the other personal things. But on top of that, most of our funds go to, towards things like, you know, purchasing of new equipment, purchasing of server space in, around the world and so forth, uh, sharing material to other people around the world, uh, updating equipment, um, building things, uh, things like our current studio that we're building in order to help us do everything much more quickly and, uh, and also more economically in terms of our time. And so all of our funds often go to those particular things. And what's generally left over is generally around 12 to 15,000 Australian dollars. And that's generally what we live on. You know, the rest of the money goes somewhere else generally. But uh, we always place our stuff on the internet and um, our, our accounts on the internet. And so everyone has the means of seeing what we actually do spend with and what, how we do receive all of our funds. Mm. So, you know, I can't, we, I don't feel we can say more than that. You know, if you want to have a look at the finances, frequently asked questions, it, it outlines how we receive funds as well. If you want to examine what, you know, what kind of funds we actually do receive, that's all on the internet. And, uh, and my feelings are anybody who's accusatory about us uh, receiving funds, well, I, I'd challenge you to put all of your finances on the internet in, for the public domain and put all of your life on the internet like we do mm. and, uh, and see whether you still uh, find yourself um, in a position where you can attack somebody who's actually very transparent with their funds. Mm. Mm. Mm.